Okay, what's going on everyone? My name is Josh and this is another video that's not actually one of my vlogs. So this is going to be about what I use personally for photography and cinematography and what I use to make these videos for you guys. So first up, we have the Coolatron Carbon Fiber Slider, which I got off of eBay. This slider cost me $160 with free shipping, and I think it was a great deal. It's made of aluminum, and it has carbon fiber rods. This has to be one of the greatest sliders that I've come across for its $160 price point. It feels strong when you're using it, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart, and it feels like it's made of high quality material. The slider's panning option is also very smooth, and it's very satisfying while using it. So considering we started with a piece of equipment, I think I'll leave the cameras to last. So up next is my Manfrotto tripod. So this is the Manfrotto compact action tripod in black. The tripod features a five section support that can hold up to 3.3 pounds and only weighs 2.6 pounds. It also extends from 17.3 inches all the way to 61 inches. This tripod's good with its portability and it's lightweight, but unfortunately it doesn't support my slider which means I'm gonna have to buy another one at some point or buy a brand new tripod of them all together. So the next item I use is the Young Tang YT950. Now I don't know much about this fluid head, all I know is that it was $45 off of eBay and it was really good for its price. It's got a full plastic enclosure, but don't let that think that it's going to be a bad product because it's actually very strong built and there's lots of reviews on YouTube about this fluid head. So if you're in the looking for a fluid head and you don't have a lot of money, I'd definitely pick this one up. So to get the lighting for the videos, obviously I own two big soft boxes. Now one sits just behind my computers just behind my computer, sorry guys, just behind my three monitors and the other one sits over behind me just next to my wall so it can shine off on that and reflect straight onto the back of me. So for the last piece of equipment that I actually personally own is the Joby Gorilla Pod. Now it's the mini version and I use this to do my vlogging with. This camera tripod, it's, it's about mediocre, it does everything you want it to do just not very well. So if you're looking for a tripod do not buy one of these but if you're looking for something portable that can wrap around trees, posts, etc definitely pick one of these up as they're only around $25. Now let's get straight into the cameras. First up we'll do the action cameras. Now what you're looking at on the screen right now you've probably never seen before but it's actually a Xiaomi Yi camera. This isn't a camera that's been used by a lot of people and it's kind of not very known of because it's obviously a very set or weird sounding company you could say but they make a solid product and this is just one of their entry level cameras. Unfortunately, the action camera comes in a tacky yellow slash green turquoise color, which is kind of unfortunate. I'd rather see this in a black design. I might actually paint it black eventually one day. Uh, so you might see one of those videos on the YouTube channel eventually. So this action camera also records in 60 FPS at 1080p. It also records 2.7K. So that's also a major improvement over my GoPro, which you'll see just now. So what's on the screen right now is my GoPro Hero 3 Wide Edition. Now I got this not so long ago and it actually only records in 1080p at 30fps so the Xiaomi already wins over in that department but obviously the GoPro's quality is much clearer and the colours are more vivid so the GoPro will always wins hands down with the Xiaomi but the Xiaomi is more of a camera I'd take if I was going to trash it so the GoPro is a more premium product obviously so I'm going to look after this one more than the Xiaomi on the screen right now is all the accessories that I actually have for the GoPro Hero 3 now what you're looking at on the screen is my brand new iPhone 7 32GB. Now I got this one because I didn't really feel like I needed the extra plus version with the extra camera because I honestly I'm not going to be using the iPhone that much for camera work as I've got my own camera. Um, also I did use the Samsung S7 Edge before I got this phone and I feel like the camera on the S7 Edge is a bit better than the iPhone 7 but it's, it still works. Okay guys so I just want to apologize in advance if the quality dips down right here because I'm actually using the iPhone 7. So just bear that in mind for this take. Okay, so this is my Sony Nex 6. This is my main camera that I'll use for me with every single video that I do on this channel, um, including my vlogs, my car videos, my reviews, just pretty much everything. Um, I take this camera with me everywhere, obviously because I do the vlogging now. So it goes through all, quite a bit of a beating, but it's a full metal housing and plastic and stuff, so it should be fine. But um, it's currently only running...